what is the risk that these higher energy prices in Europe, the crisis there, is going to bleed through in a material way to prices here in the United States? Well, the risk is not on the net gas side directly. It's actually through thermal coal and what's happening to thermal coal prices. When we got to $9 uh, and closer to $10 natural gas prices again, it wasn't because of our production. It wasn't because of our imports uh, from Canada. It was because the price of coal had shot up uh, as Europe bought more coal, as China bought more coal, and the $9 price of natural gas now eight dollars but that was equivalent to where thermal coal prices were and now we're seeing thermal coal prices coming off again for a variety of reasons and with that u.s nat gas so u.s nat gas is going to be seeing a significant increase in supply we're going to see some boost in our LNG exports, but those are capped. We, you can only produce as much LNG as you have liquefaction capacity, and it doesn't grow overnight. And that's the reason why Europe's going to have to wait till mid or later in the decade to get to the point where there'll be enough nat gas, particularly from the U.S. and Qatar, that's going to be able to replace that Russian natural gas. We also have to remember that the Russian game plan is not completely over. It's hard to second guess what Mr. Putin will do. He said, specifically said said what they're doing on oil and gas, but particularly gas at the moment, is a reflection of price caps being discussed. Mm. Um, Russia's going to be you know, running out of places to sell gas pretty soon. Uh, European destination of gas from Russia, other than a bit of liquefied natural gas, can't go anywhere else in the world. There's only a certain modest level of switching they can do to sell gas by pipeline to other countries. Those are mostly former Soviet Union countries, and their their demand is limited. So uh, the uh, uh, 30 BCM of, uh, of NAT gas that Europe is uh, being provided for by, uh, by Russia is not going to be replaced by another market. So at some point, uh, Russia might say, hey, we want to maximize the revenue we're getting from natural gas, it would not be surprising if they turned back the flows on natural gas as we got to the end of the injection season in Europe, uh, got to the point when Europe is going to be drawing storage, when prices will be high for the winter and Russia will make a lot of money on it.